Ooh, good day to you. Thanks for coming to another lesson. This is a beautiful sunny day in Southern Oregon. Today we're gonna learn a song called Okeechobee Wind. It's not originally written for guitar, though I've arranged it for guitar because I really enjoy the song and I really love what uh, Jesse McReynolds, who wrote the song, I love the harmonic structure that he's chosen and, and um, it's a really beautiful song. It makes me imagine that the Okeechobee wind is really a pretty pleasant little spot. So, without further ado, Okeechobee wind. I'll play this the form t once, um, and then we'll dissect it, and then I'll play the form again. Okeechobee wind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really beautiful tune, um, and written arranged for guitar. I think it. I think it's pretty, fairly successful. Um, though the ma original mandolin piece is like really, really gorgeous. I highly suggest you check it out. It's on a record called "Bending the Rules," I think, um, by Jesse McReynolds. So let's take it piece by piece. The intro um, out is the D chord, the C chord, the G chord. Back to D. And there's little melody notes. D, D, C, D, C, G. I'm sorry. D, C, B. Back to D. So those notes are D, E, D, C, natural. D, C, B, natural. C, D, D, keeping those melody notes on top when we're strumming. And he does these beautiful flutters. Um, so, begins the form. The A part starts with uh, a D chord, and I'm striking the A and the B strings at the same time. I'm also using my fingers to, to pick as well with a uh, um, flat pick. Those first six notes or so are D and A, then D, uh, it's essentially D and A and D and A. Uh, D and A. That's funny. Um, so I'm striking the root and the fourth below the root. And the same thing, same strings. Moving the chord. Then here starts a little riff. Uh, it's in a G chord. Doing a little bass movement with the pick. G to D. G to D. And then G, B, C. The C note and the D note are struck at the same time. cross-picking pattern. We start on an A note. A, C, pull off G, F sharp, G, E, back to D. Let me do that in real time. 
time. Let me do that in slow time. Nice little, I don't know what it feels, it feels, it just feels good, that little bit. And then the next part, um, same beginning. And we're doing the same thing. But here we're going to an A chord. We're starting on a B note. Picking thing. B, B, A, E, G, C sharp, D, back to Let's do that again. B, A, E, G, C sharp, D, then D and A together. And then the third part. It starts, it's basically the same as the first part, it has a little bit of a variation. Instead of going all the way through that little cross picking, as we did in the first part, we're just going. Starts on the D. We do that again. And one more time, nice and slow. when it goes when it's easier to play fast and you play it slow it's nice to sing it so that's the first a part uh, the second a second part of a starts the same different bit. We're still outlining the A7 chord, but we start, instead of starting on the B, now we're going to start on the E, the high E. We're going E, C sharp, A, B, F sharp, G, then back. It starts on D natural on our fifth fret of our fifth string, and we're kind of going up to go down. It goes D C sharp. I'll play it. I'll play it uh, in real time. Now dissecting it is D C sharp, E D F sharp, E G F sharp, A G D A D C sharp, E D. I like to add. Uh, some thirds here. G, the melody goes bum, 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 G, F sharp, E. But adding the thirds is G and B, F sharp and A, and then D and F sharp. And it happens pretty quick. I usually don't get those so cleanly, but I, I think that's okay. And 
And this brings us to the B part of the song, which is C chord, C chord, C chord, slide down to this form. But I only want those three notes. I only want that G, C, and E. Here I want the E, E, G, and C. Here I want the G, C, and E. So E's on top, and C's on top. And an F dominant seventh chord, which if you move your D up uh, three frets from the second to the fifth, drop that to a seventh chord, and then exchange your root for an F right there. F. Up your pinky, get that G, slide up to the seventh fret for the A, and then the form starts over again. And the subtle difference is that the A arpeggio, instead of uh, going, so we're kind of melting two, two parts here. The A arpeggio, instead of starting on that B string, for the last A part, we're going directly to the E. And then the ending of the whole form, the A, A, B, A form, is... Uh, variations every time. Um, so let me play that form, the whole form one more time. Okeechobee wind. One, two, three, four, five. questions uh, please send me a message or send me um, an email my website is listed below um, and I'm offering uh, these lessons for free if you feel inspired to offer a donation there's also a link um, down in the description section um, the donations will go to making better videos and also to uh, you know buying bread and um, putting a roof over my head so Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a comment if you desire. Have a good day.